Sunday is music's biggest night, the 60th annual Grammy Awards, right here on CBS2. And it's extra special this yep. year because the show has returned to New York for the first time in 15 yep. years. We are joined by Entertainment Tonight's Nancy O'Dell with a sneak peek at all the excitement. Hey, good morning, Nancy. Good morning, Nancy. It's so good to see you. Good morning. So Madison, it's good to see you too. I'm a little bit colder here than I'm normally in uh, I'm, LA, but it's fun to be in New York for the Grammys. I'm sure. <laughs> so Madison Square Garden, I'm sure, is brimming with activity uh, right now. Yeah, a lot of excitement. Everybody's excited, and I think this is going to be an incredible year for the Grammys, as it is every year. I mean, that's the one thing the Grammys have been. Come known for is their amazing collaborations, and you've got everything on this year's show. I'm really looking forward to seeing Elton John and Miley Cyrus performing together, which has been announced nice. as a collaboration. So I can't wait to see what they're going to do. Supposedly one of his very famous songs, and then you know the nominees: Jay Z as the most nominated artist, Bruno Mars as the third most nominated artist, Kendrick Lamar the second most nominated. So to see those performances is going to be amazing. It hasn't been announced if Jay Z is going to be performing yet or not, but they love to surprise. Us, he and Beyonce. So we're also we're hoping that maybe they'll get up there and do a duet, a Family Feud. Now, you know, you've done this so many years, Nancy. Many artists are shy, but some are very talkative. So for your pre-show, who do you look forward to interviewing, and who do you think will spill the beans about what they're going to be doing? <laughs> Well, sometimes, you know, they'll hold it out until the last minute. The pre-show will start at 3.30 uh, in Los Angeles there on CBS. You'll see it right there mm -hmm. uh, on your guys. Um, and I'm looking forward to seeing, I think, Lady Gaga on the red carpet because you never know what she is going to say Definitely. or wear yes. on the red carpet. I also want to talk to Pink because she is going to be performing. And as you know, you don't know if she's going to be scaling the side of a building or if she's going <laughs> to be you know, the falling truth. from the ceiling, you know, on strings or what she's going to be doing. So I'm anxiously awake. Her yeah. performance and hoping she'll give us a hint on the red carpet of what we can expect so that, you know, well, yeah. we can be able to brace ourselves for her Nancy, performance. I understand the Me Too movement may be represented in tonight's, in, in, on Sunday's show. That's true. Everybody is uh, getting together and supposedly going to be wearing white roses, either nice. on their lapel or on their dress somewhere. And in New York, it'll be interesting to see if they're going to put it on their coat <coughs> or if they're going to put it on their dress and continue it throughout the ceremony. But again, that's representing the Me Too movement. Well, and, and this year on your pre-show, you have a Grammy winner in, in, in the show, Eve, from the talk. We do. From the talk, I'm so excited that Eve is going to be a part of the Red Carpet Show. I'm going to be co-hosting it with uh, Kevin Frazier, my co-host in Entertainment Tonight, and then we have Kelty Knight and Eve also on the Red Carpet with us. So it's going to be a lot of fun and, and fun to get her insight, you know, into right. the whole right. music world and to hear her, what she has as far as her take on interviewing the celebrities. We look forward to watching. We oh, look yeah. forward to watching on Sunday, uh, Nancy. Stay warm. <laughs> it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> I'll try to. All right, Nancy, thank you. And you <laughs> can watch the 60th Grammy Awards this Sunday on CBS2. The Grammy Red Carpet live coverage begins at 3.30. And Grammy Awards actually start at 4.30.